Oh, hi there. And welcome to part 8 of New Super Mario Bros. 2. We're once again returning to the Mushroom World, and this time, we're heading underground. By the way, I figure I'll point this out now. That, uh, leaf there that's standing in the center, that is an invincibility leaf. Uh, it's basically a power-up that you get if you die several times playing a level. Uh, most of my deaths weren't actually legitimate deaths because I suicide a lot just to refilm the level. Um, but I figured I'd point it out now since I'm showing or since it's here. Um, basically it gives you invincibility, it allows you to fly easier. However, if you use it to complete the level, the game will not recognize you as officially completing the level. It'll let you progress further in the game, but for completion purposes, purposes, uh, it doesn't count as actually completing the level. Anyways, that's a super leaf for you. Like I said, I didn't actually die that many times. I've only had, I think, two legitimate deaths. Uh, the other outtakes were me suiciding to refilm because I was very angry with my commentary. That happens a lot more than you would think. Um, Anyways, this level is largely based around the PAL block, and it also has a lot of these uh, platforms that you stand on, and then they fall out beneath you if you stand on them too long. You can also get some extra lives if you have firepower, so that's convenient. And this is a moving screen level. There's actually surprisingly a lot of moving screen levels, more than I remember. Um, with that being said, the moving screen levels in this game don't irritate me. I remember back in the new, uh, I think it was my Super Mario Bros. 3 walkthrough? Gosh, that was so long ago. That was like six years ago. But I remember I would get really mad at the moving screen levels and they would frustrate me. But uh, this game doesn't seem to bother me as much on in terms of the moving screen levels. Anyways. Head to the midway points. You can hit this pal block, and darn Mario, I thought you, I thought you were a plumber, not a gardener. Uh, you can get tons and tons of fire flowers. More, uh, uh, more so, it's just a bunch of, uh, more so, uh, a bunch of points, since uh, you can only get so many fire flowers at once. Second, uh, star medals right there. You kind of have to be quick, but it's not difficult to get. Uh, once again, you're going to be utilizing PAL blocks to navigate here. And uh, if you hurry up here, you have to be kind of quick. You can get this third star medal. And then if you do have fire flower power, fire flower power, say that five times fast. Uh, there is a power up right here, by the way, so if you still need it, you can get it. Uh, then you can use that fire flower, fire flower, <laughs> fire fire power to get a mega mushroom and this really doesn't do anything overly exciting other than give you lots of extra coins so uh, that's fun I guess <laughs> like I said the mega Mario power up in this game really doesn't do much aside from old cool uh, yeah anyways that's it for this level pop on out and we can move on to the next one Alrighty, uh, this level is accessed by the secret exit to the ghost house, which we did in the last video. And I hope you're ready to channel your inner Tarzan, because we're going to be hanging from lots and lots of vines. That's pretty much the gimmick of this level. It is a vertical level, and again, lots of power blocks. And basically, you'll be climbing on all these vines that you'll be hitting. You press the up button to latch onto them, and then you use the arrow keys to move around. Of course, holding B can speed or speed you up uh, if you so choose. This level fe features the Tanuki power, and I think the first star medal is somewhere around here. Did I just get? I don't. I don't even know. First star medal's up there. Uh, I know I kind of did it off the screen, but I knew it was there because I just practiced this level like a half an hour ago. Um, the main thing about this level is it's, again, another moving screen level. So you have to keep moving with the level, and if you don't, well, the level's gonna move on without you. So, 
Just be careful. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward level. Just dodge the flying Koopas, because there's lots of them. The flying ducks. Uh, this storm metal, if you're not careful, you can miss it like I almost did. And it's possible to jump up to the platform above if you aren't careful, so just be cautious not to over jump when you get the second star medal. There's an 8 red coin challenge here, not an overly exciting one, nor difficult for that matter. It'll probably yield you an extra life because there's power, up, power ups galore in this level. And then you can use the Koopas here to get lots of coins as well as hit these uh, blocks. And you're gonna need both of these vine sets to be popped. Be mm, excuse me. Uh, you'll need both of them to be popped in order to get the third star medal, unless you have like Tanuki power and you float across the screen, which is also very feasible to do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this level. Float on up, and I think we're in the home stretch. There's also some Chain Chomp friends who are out to eat you. Who's a good boy? Not the Chain Chomps. Bad dogs. Bad dogs. I am not food. I think there's actually like a way to go. Oh yeah. If you have a... Uh... Let's see. Eh. Ow. There we go. I think I actually forgot about this. I did this a long time ago. All it does is basically if you hit this, it'll allow you to be able to more easily hit the top of the flagpole. Um, so yeah, that's it for this level. After beating Mushroom World B, you can gain access to this cannon level. And this cannon level really isn't necessary in the grand scheme of things, but uh, it does offer an alternate method of getting to the flower world in case you didn't get there through the uh, through world three. So basically, we already have the ability to go to the flower world. This is just a different way of getting there. And uh, yeah, there you go. To wrap off this mushroomy world of mushrooms, we are off to one final level, which of course is another castle. And this castle level features Mario and his endless runaway from giant spiked ball things. Yeah. This level also features lots and lots and lots of thwompy type things and things that go boom and things that fall on the ground and... Fun times! Most of it's just basic dodging, but uh, this really isn't a difficult level in the slightest. I find this to be one of the easier castles in the game. First Star Metal is actually very easy to miss because it's after a pipe that is very obvious that you should go down to progress the level. So just make sure you go take a peek past it in order to get that. The second portion of this level is a little bit trickier because of the rotating pla uh, platforms that you have to go across. There's also some very uh, rampant plant life. The piranha plants, the dry, dead piranha plants are in full bloom. And then the third and final star medal requires some degree of tanuki power. You can fly up this way and it'll take you up here. And that's all it takes to get it. Not that bad. This is a really simple level, not that bad at all. I'm actually surprised the mushroom world in general, I don't know if it's just me, but I remember this world being much harder the first time I played through it. And now that I practiced it, I actually find this world to be pretty easy as a whole. With that said, surprisingly, I find this to be one of the trickier Koopa kids to fight. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest Koopa kid fights in the game, in my opinion. Uh, the little dude will bounce around and he'll shoot fireballs at you like usual. Uh, just be careful to stomp on him. And there's also these platforms that shift up and down, which can make his rolling around a little bit difficult to predict. Also, be very careful. Normally there's a small window of time where you can generally stomp on the boss after they finish rolling around. 
Uh, if you try doing that in this boss fight, more often than not, I feel like you'll end up accidentally getting hit. So I think this boss fight requires a little bit more patience than some of the other ones. And with that, Mario is once again number one. And that wraps up yet another world. Uh, if you complete the Mushroom World, it'll take you back to World 3, but we already finished World 3, so we're actually gonna head over to World 4 next, which is an icy world of iciness. So, we'll do that next time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you, and good night. First, Star Metal's a little bit tricky to get, and then you can die. Oh boy. Donut like platforms, and if you stand on them too long, they will give out underneath you. So be very careful. And if you come over here, you can hit this switch. Oh my god. Uh, but it does offer an alternate method of getting to, uh. Well, an alternate method of dying. <laughs>